Hey, it's Melissa, and welcome back to the Wit & Wire podcast. I'm doing things a little bit differently this year, so I wanted to give you some insights into what's coming up, because I'm very excited about it, and how my business is shifting slightly in 2022. So to back things up a little bit, when I started Wit & Wire two years ago, I always knew that I wanted to serve online business owners and to help people share their knowledge online and get paid for it. Honestly, when I worked at Teachable, it was so inspiring to see so many real like everyday people earning money online. And before the pandemic, that kind of business wasn't as widely known or understood. Today, fortunately, I think it's a lot more common that people can see, wow, you really can run an online business. You can work remotely from home. But for years, I had a hard time kind of explaining to friends and family what I did for work because I've been in such a weird industry. That said, my course creator journey, I think, looks a little bit different from most. First, I taught in-person classes at General Assembly. Then I was working for a man named Ramit Sethi. He's a New York Times bestseller of the book, I Will Teach You to Be Rich. And well before the pandemic, he was running a 50-person fully remote company, and we were doing eight figures in course sales every year. And I was the course launch manager. So we were doing 12 to 18 launches every single year. And then after that, I started working at Teachable, the online course software that I use for all of Wit & Wire's courses. And I really loved working there for nearly four years. It was a total dream job. I would have to say that my two favorite projects were probably launching Teachable U, which included all of the trainings for Teachable's tens of thousands of creators, and then also having the opportunity to pitch the CEO on having a podcast for Teachable and then getting to host and produce the first two seasons of the Everything is Teachable podcast. But even though I loved it, I always knew that I wanted to run my own business. So when I started Wit & Wire, I was torn between talking about podcasting or talking about course creation. And ultimately, I did decide to start with the podcasting route. And I always planned to talk to online business owners because I knew one day I would want to expand my own business and talk a little bit more big picture about course creation, online business strategies, and earning money online. And I still think that it was the right decision at that moment in time. And my podcasting course is definitely not going away. But what I am excited to share is that moving forward, Wit & Wire is not going to be only about podcasting. It's really going to be a hub for online business owners to learn how to not only market their businesses, but to create courses and maybe in the future coaching products as well. But for now, I would say the big focus of 2022 is going to be helping online course creators. That includes helping them launch their own courses, scale the courses to be in more of an evergreen or a steady state, and then helping people have scalable marketing strategies that do not make you feel like you have to be on every single social media platform. That's one of my biggest pet peeves with the online business industry is that it feels like we're often told that we have to do everything. You have to try this new app. You have to be in 12 places at once. You have to do webinars, ads, challenges, free Facebook groups. You have to do all of these things. And I know from experience that it just isn't true. I think one of the biggest reasons why I've been able to scale Wit & Wire to over $200,000 in revenue over just over two years is because I've said no to so many things. I've said no to trying new social platforms like Clubhouse, even though it was incredibly buzzy in my industry. I have said no to continuing offering any one-on-one -on -one services. And in fact, in 2022, I will only be offering online courses. I'm not going to have any one-on-one -on -one offers anymore. They're already off my website. And for the last six months, I said no to even running my own podcast because I knew I wanted to focus on starting a YouTube channel and I couldn't do both. In fact, the more I thought about it, the more I realized how many decisions I kept having to make as a business owner every day between this or that strategy. And that's exactly where the idea came from to try something new for season three of the Wit & Wire podcast. I honestly didn't want to continue just doing interviews, nor did I want to do solo episodes because now on my YouTube channel, I do have a chance to teach and to share a lot of the marketing, course creation, and automation strategies. And I really like YouTube because I can show you my screen. I can do some demos. I feel like it really suits my style as a teacher. But for the podcast, I felt like there was still something I wanted to talk about. And that was the ability for me to empower you to make decisions about your own business. There's something interesting that happens when you hear an interview or you see a course sales page or a service offering. What you're seeing in that moment is one point of view. That course creator, let's say, 
is sharing why Pinterest is so helpful, why Instagram is so helpful, why course creation is so helpful. And it's all sincere, but there's no comparison. There's no way for you to know if Pinterest is right for you over another strategy, or should you be on Instagram versus TikTok? Should you try WordPress versus Squarespace? And I felt like there was this gap I could address where instead of offering solutions, I could help you become empowered decision makers. That's why for season three of the Wit & Wire podcast, I'm bringing in two experts per episode so we can debate the pros and cons of strategies that people often decide between. For example, the first episode, which is coming out in January, is about TikTok versus Instagram. And the goal isn't to say that there's one right tool for everyone. It's just to help you explore those two tools and to really understand the differences and decide what could be right for you. My plan right now is to do one per month, not only because I have so many other content channels at Wit & Wire that I can't keep up with anything more frequent, but I also think that these are big picture decisions. And if I can share one great podcast episode per month, and then maybe some YouTube videos that tie into it or some other thoughts throughout that month on that subject, then I can help you focus on quality decisions over quantity. In terms of my year ahead, My main focus all year long is going to be building a new program to help course creators launch a new program, scale it up, and start earning consistent revenue every single month, even if you don't have a huge starting audience. And I'm so excited about it. I actually started a founding round in December of 2021, and I have just over 20 students going through that program. So if you are interested in learning more or signing up for the waitlist, you can find it at witandwire.com slash courses, but I will definitely be opening up a second enrollment sometime within the next couple of months, most likely in February, but don't hold me to that exact date, but that's the plan. I also want to say that the podcast launch accelerator program isn't going anywhere. That's been my signature course for the last two years. And I have just over 300 students enrolled in that program to help you choose the right topic, launch your podcast, sustain your production long after launch day with time-saving strategies and to get to your first 1000 downloads. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you'll also find it at wittenwire.com slash courses or you'll find a link to a free masterclass in the description. Honestly, I'm just so excited for the opportunity to share more of the online business strategies that I've learned, not only through running Wit & Wire, but also being behind the scenes at Teachable, seeing what so many other creators are up to. Because ultimately, I don't believe that there's a one-size-fits-all solution for business owners. And in fact, I want you to see that as a good thing. It means that there's creativity. It means you can find things that work for you and say no to the rest. And if it was easy, if it really was a cookie cutter template, then everyone would have an online business. And I'll wrap this bonus episode by sharing that overall, the mission here at Wit & Wire hasn't changed. My goal is to empower more people to earn money online doing work they love, and to not only teach you how to simplify your business strategies, but to really empower you to believe that you are capable because I know that there are people out there who are just waiting for you to create your course, to launch your podcast and to become their go-to person. And I wanna do everything in my power to clear the runway, to simplify the tech and to help you earn real money online. I know that 2022 is your year and I cannot wait to see what you'll create. Thanks for tuning in to this bonus episode of the Wit & Wire podcast. If you aren't already, make sure that you follow the podcast or that you're subscribed in your favorite app, especially now that we're a monthly podcast, I wanna make sure you don't miss a thing. The very first episode of the season comes out on Wednesday, January 5th, and it's going to be one of the biggest questions I expect we will hear year round. Should I be on TikTok or should I be on Instagram? Speaking of, to do research for that episode, I did officially join TikTok for the first time and I have like two videos out as of the time of this recording, but I would love if you would follow me over there at Wit & Wire. I'll see you soon.